In the Palanza region of Verbania, we visit the beautiful Villa Taranto Gardens. Established during the 1930s by Scotsman Neil McEachern and considered by many to be one of the loveliest gardens in Italy. The Maggiore Express is a scenic tour around the lake. One ticket for trains and boats from start to finish, very convenient. Our journey begins here at Verveno. We catch the Trenitalia and travel to Dormaletto. Here we catch the Cento Valley Express. Cento Valley translates as 100 valleys. This scenic railway line will take us to Locarno.
After free time in Locarno, it's time to start our homeward journey by ferries. A change of ferries here at Ascona and we're ready to continue our journey. After a most enjoyable scenic tour, we return to Baveno. What is making this economy so powerful in Italy, okay, when we talk about this country, ladies and gentlemen? We will go for the numbers of the villages, as you can see, 138 meters above the sea level, 4,400 meters above the sea level. Mennevis, more or less, is the same height as the Monteron in the mountain on the Lake Maggiore itself. So Mennevis is around 1,400 in times. Uh, uh, very often I say to our guests, customers, then uh, wandering around, you might see some of the tools, very well preserved tools, what your parents... Houses in Zermatt, dating back 13, 14, 15 century, the old town in Zermatt. Maybe you manage to. Macquanaga, at the foot of the Monte Rosa. And discuss uh, return journeys for Wednesday. So. Somewhere in the background is the Monte Rosa. I'm having trouble seeing it today, it's shrouded in clouds. We walk back into Maquanaga, we pass the Chiesa Vecchia, the old church. This cafe provides the perfect place to refuel before leaving Maquanaga. We near the end of this Maggiore magic, but before we leave Bavino, we have just one more excursion. We leave the mainland and head out onto Lake Orta, heading for the island of San Giulio. We 
We're heading for the Basilica di San Giulio. The original chapel was built here in the 4th century. We're heading back to the mainland now and the town of Orta San Giulio. We think he must have been a very popular saint as all the place names here end in San Giulio. What turned out to be quite a hot day required a little cooling off. The prize for the wet t-shirt competition definitely went to Kenny. You started, it, Kenny. Thank <laughs> you. 